Though acreage is down, cotton is still an important crop in Arkansas. King cotton has lost some of its impact from the time when more than a million acres were harvested annually in Arkansas. A decline in world demand for the fiber has led to a decline in prices, the closing of several ginning facilities, and has cut the state's cotton acreage by more than half. This year, a little more than 300,000 acres were planted. Despite this, Nathan Reed of Mariana intends to continue to grow the fiber. I'm a cotton farmer. I would love nothing more for me to be able to plant 100% cotton every year on my farm. Uh, so I would, I would absolutely love for cotton to, to get back up to a level where it's feasible for me to plant my whole farm and still make a, 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 make a profit. Arkansas Agriculture Secretary Butch Calhoun, First District Congressman Rick Crawford, and other state officials met with cotton farmers in northeast Arkansas after a hailstorm in parts of Craighead and Mississippi counties in early October damaged up to 40,000 acres. In many communities in this part of the state, cotton is still their economic lifeblood. Cotton industry, though, is, is not as many acres as we used to have in Arkansas. It's still one of our, one of our major crops. Uh, it's very important to these communities with the gins and all the backups and stuff they have and, and all the industry that supports them. Plus, uh, you know, we're wanting the industry to grow back again. We're wanting, I would like to see at least 600,000 acres of cotton in Arkansas every year. And, uh, and the, the crop this year was very good. Uh, I've heard some talks up here of 1,800 pounds of the acre. And then these guys are saying their, their crops just lost. It's very devastating. Before the storm, the National Agricultural Statistics Service forecast that farmers would harvest around 314,000 acres. Now, several thousand acres will likely be abandoned in the two counties. Despite this, because of technology such as pickers with onboard module builders becoming more common, cotton should remain an important part of the Arkansas landscape. Now there's some technology changes that I think will help facilitate a bounce back in cotton acres, but with onboard uh, module and pickers, uh, I think that really gives us a lot of flexibility to get back in into cotton, because if you put the cotton up in the, in the round module, you put, put it in there good, it's going to stay good. Uh, some of the gins that have ginned that said, you know, it's, you know, you know, on the round modules, the very first one is just as good as the last one on, you know, when you look at that, they didn't have any deterioration. And so what some of the gins are looking at is, is uh, not necessarily in getting bigger because, you know, we're losing gins, but looking at a longer growing season. While in the past, transgenic or BT cotton has proven effective in dealing with weed and pest control, some weeds have become resistant to that technology and farmers like Reed are returning to planting some conventional varieties. Now we have uh, worm control and, and some pesticides that have good residuals, so we're able to control the boll worms in these, uh, uh, in these conventional varieties. So next year I plan to have uh, about a thousand acres, up to a thousand acres of conventional cotton. Uh, and, and because of these new technologies, some new weed control technologies and the new uh, pest control technologies, we're able to revert back to the conventional cotton and. Uh, it's so far, it's been my best yielding cotton, and it and I was about $90 an acre cheaper uh, on the production cost side. Reed will harvest around 3,300 acres this year and has always included cotton in his rotation. His family's like many others in East Arkansas, where it's been a part of the fabric of their communities for generations, and hopefully will for generations to come.